We propose a novel approach to jointly learn a face model and a face reconstruction network from a set of in the wild videos. Given a single monocular color image as input, our approach obtains a high quality reconstruction. The reconstruction comprises the dense surface geometry, skin reflectance, and scene illumination. All of them are estimated jointly. Given a set of M input images, we first independently extract a set of feature maps for each image using a single feature extraction network with shared weights. The extracted feature maps are the input of a shared identity estimation network that outputs geometry and reflectance parameters. Next, each stream independently estimates the rotation, translation, facial expression and illumination. We employ a jointly learned and fully differentiable shape and appearance model to map from parameters to per-vertex attributes. Finally, a differentiable renderer is used to implement a model-based face autoencoder. Our approach is trained in a self-supervised manner based on a multi-frame consistency loss and several geometric losses. For more details, please refer to the paper. Here, we show monocular reconstructions obtained by our approach. Our approach obtains high-quality reconstructions in terms of geometry, reflectance and illumination from a single input image. Please note our model is learned from a single, constantly colored mesh. The optimal face model is learned jointly with the face reconstruction network. Our method reconstructs dense shape, including high-quality lip and nose shapes. We are robust to challenging scenarios, such as the presence of makeup, facial hair, or large head poses. Please refer to the supplementary webpage for results on more than 200 images. Our approach supports both monocular as well as multi-frame reconstructions. Multi-frame reconstruction consistently outperforms the monocular setting, especially in recovering the occluded regions. Multi-frame reconstruction can also better resolve depth ambiguity. Because of our multi-frame consistency loss, we can better separate illumination and skin reflectance compared to Tivari et al, who trained their corrective model on monocular images. We can also better handle large head poses. Cran et al refined an existing face model on monocular images. We can estimate better geometry, even though we learn our face model starting just from a neutral mesh. Our approach also disentangles the reflectance and shading components of the face, in contrast to Trenet R. The approaches of Richardson et al., Sela et al., and Tevari et al. either rely on an existing face model or on synthetically generated data. Thus, they do not generalize well in the presence of facial hair or makeup. Our approach learns an optimal face model from individual videos and generalizes better even in these challenging cases. Booth et al. learn a texture model from images using an existing 3D morphable face model. In contrast, we learn a surface reflectance model starting only from a constantly colored template mesh. While our approach obtains high quality reconstructions without using an existing face model, it can fail in the presence of extreme illumination conditions or large occlusions. For some extreme head poses, our method may not be completely accurate. Also, resolving the global scale ambiguity between illumination and skin reflectance is challenging. We finally present some results on videos downloaded from the internet. Thank you for watching.